بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیپ آپس انجینئر ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ اپ دا ریورس پروکسی تھرو انجن ایکس اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریورس پروکسی آور پرائیویٹ ایز تھری بکٹ اینڈ اٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی ریئلی سمپل بٹ دس گیو یو ایڈوانٹیج ٹو یو نو ڈسپلے یور امیجز اینڈ اٹ گیو یو a uh, lot much more flexibility to uh, you know utilize that private bucket and you can um, show the images in private bucket so this time i'm going to show you how you can do it so uh, what i'm going to do uh, first of all i'm going to create a private s3 bucket okay. So I'm going to call this uh, bucket, let's say, cloudgeeks.ca. So this bucket is going to be totally private and I'm going to enable the versioning and that's it. So this bucket is created. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create um, two directories of folder in this bucket and I'm going to call this media okay and I'm going to create one more directory inside that particular media directory and I'm going to call this uh, images okay and I'm going to upload one image in this images uh, directory or folder okay so it is going to be this uh, image of uh, masjid i'm going to upload this is the image i'm going to uh, upload uh, in my three bucket in my private s3 bucket so uh, as you know guys this is totally a uh, private bucket so how um, i can do the reverse proxy uh, of this private bucket and i'm going to utilize uh docker for that and you don't have to do much you have to do simply copy and paste if you have the privileges of aws so what do you have to do navigate to this particular link i'm going to provide this particular link uh, or this link to in the description and what you have to do is to simply copy this uh, command and paste it so but you have to update the bucket name and the access key and secret access key so i'm going to show you exactly what you have to do so my bucket name is uh, cloudgeeks.ca okay and i'm going to call this bucket name s3 private bucket reverse proxy and these are the uh, access key and secret access key which i'm going to update to you in front of you okay as you guys know that and this is a sandbox environment so these keys are not going to be you know uh, persistent so you have to use your own keys uh, for that so simply you have to provide these access key and secret access key and your private bucket is going to be publicly available depends on you what you want to do with it um, whether you want to make it private that in the next container is going to be private and uh, you can use the private hosted zone of aws to utilize the internal images uh, to display in your website so uh, as i'm showing you this private s3 bucket uh, what i'm going to do is to i'm gonna i'm gonna use this uh, I'm going to use the Docker Hub for that. So it is going uh, to pull that image and it is going to use uh, access keys and secret access key. Let me show you what I mean by that. So, so what I'm doing here, I'm simply doing the copy paste here. It's going to pull that image of mine and on port 80, it is going to be available. 
so if i click this you will see the details with regard to that and the object key uh, this is the object key so the object key of that particular image is this one so this is the key which means that i have to append at the end of this crf media images dot master so i'm going to simply do slash media images and master so you see guys i'm able to access my image um, of my private bucket on your know, on a public so it all depends so this is how you can easily utilize your private buckets uh, via the reverse proxy and uh, you can use this uh, magic in your uh, in your websites to display the images so uh, let me show you what we have in the so let me show you command as well so do docker yes i can to show all the processes so this is running uh, and it is uh, displaying us the images if you do docker logs um, this container so i'm going to simply you know place it here it is doing the relevant stuff processes start and all that stuff so guys uh, this is how easy you can um, do the relevant stuff uh, with regard to the reverse proxy and i just told you you can do amazing th uh, things with that i mean you can run a uh, 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 what you can say that ec2 instance in a private hostel zone and you can simply do the reverse proxy to a private bucket and you can uh, do the private hostel zone you know to utilize that uh, and uh, do the internal stuff in your uh, you know uh, in your web with regard to your website and with regard to your uh, application mobile application so that is it from my side if you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel and i will be uh, showing more videos with regard to the s3 mount and i've created a script uh, with regard to that and your s3 private bucket is going to be mounted in your ec2 machine or any on even in your local machine so i'm going to show you that part as well thank you guys have a nice day